How's it going guys, Jake here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Furnace Mod. Now this adds two different types of machines to your Minecraft world, and they allow you to be much more efficient in smelting and in a couple of other resources that you might gather, so let's get right into it. So the two machines that are added into your Minecraft world is the Furnace, but a little bit differently, and the Pulvis. Now to make the Furnace, you're going to need to take four brick, two iron ingots, two coals, and a normal furnace. And to make a pulvis, you're gonna take two iron ingots, two flint, four smooth sandstone, shit sandstone, any type of sandstone surrounding a furnace. Now we're gonna take these machines. Now I'll move on to the furnace in just a second. As you can see in my inventory, there are several different types of upgrades you can add to it. That's what makes it special. But I just wanna very quickly go over this other machine, the pulvis. Now I'm gonna fly through these recipes since there are quite a lot. And some of them are just very basic as you can see. You can place uh, stone bricks in here to get cobblestone, stone to get cobblestone, all that stuff. But there are a few that are useful. If you have a diamond or just a pickaxe that has the type of enchantment to allow you to get a certain ore, a whole ore, if you place it in here, you can see that you'll get three more than usual. You can place wool in here to get four string back just as normal. So as you can see, it's very handy for those types of ore if you manage to harvest those. And there's also similar to a crafting table, if you were to place a particular flower in, you'll get more dye instead. So it's just very handy and you can see all the different recipes that are going here. You can see it's more efficient in bone meal and what you'll get and in blaze rods. So it is very nice. Now you'll notice down here at the bottom that you have iron ingot into iron dust. And you'll also have a gold ingot into iron dust, and then the ores will give you double that. Now this iron dust, as you can also uh, see in the chest and the gold dust, they do not actually have a purpose in this mod yet. I'm hoping to add some cool feature with it. So I'm going to go ahead and set down my furnace, and as you can see it has a much larger GUI than normal. So over here we have five slots for us to put our upgrades in, so you cannot put all of them in. Then we have the usual slot of input, and then the output of whatever ingot or stuff it is smelted. And then we have two fuel slots, which is very handy. So I'm going to go ahead and place some coal in there. Now if I go ahead and place iron in here, you can see that's smelting at the normal speed, as it usually would, a basic furnace. But if I go ahead and add these eight speed upgrades, you can see that it's smelting much faster. Now the amount of blocks that you're going to be smelting per coal will decrease by a couple of blocks. As you can see, it is going down much faster than it usually would. As it says, it will increase the fuel consumption as well. But if we go ahead and take this out, it goes back to normal. And if we increase the efficiency upgrade, you'll see that the fuel has basically like stopped going down because its efficiency has been increased so much, but you'll really see this kick into place when you have both of these in. So you can see it's going at the same speed it was before, but the fuel is going down much more slowly uh, when it, than it was just speed. Now this uh, XP upgrade, this is pretty obvious. Whenever you're smelting the coal or something that will give XP out when you're done smelting it, this will just increase the amount that you get. So can't really show that, especially because I don't think iron should, gives XP. Then we have these slot upgrades, and now if I go ahead and add both these, you can see that that's where the extra space in GUI came from, because you can add two more additional slots. So if I go ahead and put more uh, ore in here, you can see that it is smelting those types of ore. Now you'll also notice that the fuel will increase uh, in speed, because it is having to make uh, the same equivalent amount of speed that it would take to smelt those three ores. But it isn't decreasing the efficiency at all, in fact, for the speed that you're getting this it is actually increasing the efficiency by a lot because the amount of blocks you are smelting but those are the basic speed or efficiency upgrade modules now we're going to move on to a little bit more uh, complex ones and now right before i go on to these three uh, special upgrades there is this small button that is added when you add this uh, extra slot upgrade and it is to split items even so if you click this it will then just split the ores evenly throughout the other slots so you're smelting them all much more quickly now on the left we have these three upgrades here. Now I'm going to go over these two which are the much, much more uh, simplistic ones. Now this eco upgrade is extremely handy. And so if I go ahead and place coal in here as I have coal ore smelting. Now as usual if I were to take this out you can see that the fire will continue to burn down just because the coal is in there and it also tells you how many seconds uh, you have left. And now, even though nothing's smelting, the coal is just still burning. So if you want anything to happen, you have to have something in the input slot. 
but this eco upgrade if I go ahead and place it in when I take this out you'll see that instead the timer has stopped it is retaining its heat without spending it so you can put as much fuel as you want in here and you won't have to worry about losing any of it because it will just stop whenever the input is done so it is extremely handy and then next we have this energy upgrade and if I go ahead and go out you can see that when I'm looking at this uh, furnace it says it shows a little energy bar and says can be uh, disabled in lime lib config and that is the uh, core that you need for this mod which I'll put down in the description below but this can hold energy now from other mods so it allows you to use energy from several different types of mods so it is good for putting this in a mod pack that you might have because it will work with other mods now so it is very handy and now we have the most complex but probably the most useful upgrade that there is and that is the IO upgrade and this enables automation now that means that you'll get these three new buttons you'll have an input Input, an output, and a fuel. Now each of these will have a very similar GUI that pops up. Now the green square means that it is enabled, the red square means that it is disabled, and the blue square means that it is auto. Now what this means is that from any direction surrounding the machine, you've got left, top, front, bottom, right, back, all the directions you can have hoppers connected to those and you can enable the hoppers, disable the hoppers, or automate the hoppers to input or eject any type of coal or fuel that you want. So, for example, I have the left side of this machine enabled so a hopper can put in ore that when I'm not around so it does it automatically. And if I go to the output and on the right side of this machine I have a hopper that is taking this coal out and putting it into another chest. But if I run out of fuel, well, that's no problem at all because I could enable on the top a hopper that will inject fuel so that I never run out and it just will go through all my ores that smelt when there's a chest full of them. And so I'll show a little a demonstration of this in, in a little setup here. So this is a very simple setup using some hoppers and chests. And now because of my input, I have the left side enabled. That means that the ore that is in my inventory right here, when I place it in this chest, it will eventually go through this hopper and come into these slots. And then my fuel, I have the top enabled, which means that the fuel that's in here and in this hopper will come into this uh, fuel slot when it needs to be replaced. And then my output, I have the right side on auto, so that it'll automatically take stuff out of these output slots and put it into this chest that is right next onto the right side of the furnace. So if I go ahead and place my ores in here, you can see that it is going through and it is adding its ores, and the diamonds are automatically being placed in these chests. And now this coal, it doesn't really seem like anything's happening, but that is because the coal from here is moving through. As you can see, this number is going down. So it shows you that all the stuff coming through here goes through here and then out here using these automation setup. Now this gives you a whole customization of top, bottom, front, back as it went over. And as you can see, it'll move on to the next ore once that first stack is completed. And it can do that because I have this slot upgrade. So as you can see, this is just a very powerful and handy furnace for you to do all your smelting that you need to do. So that's pretty much it for this furnace mod. It's very small, very simple, but extremely extremely useful. So if you liked it, leave a like and comment down below any other types of mods you'd like me to review, and I'll see you all in the next video. High five.